What's up, Zox fam? We are back with some more Dislight. Now, we're going to be getting into the Chimera boss. I've done a few hours of testing uh, out different comps just to see what would be... I would say a reasonable accomplishment for day one. So we're going to be jumping into that. Now, of course, guys, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the exclusive content. But let's go ahead. Let's get into it so you guys can do this yourself. All right. So currently, uh, I am um, going to have a score of 28 million, uh, which is placing me at EX. Now, this is obviously much higher uh, than what we were seeing day one um, on the raging line for phase one. Now, I think what's really important, we're going to get into my comp here. Uh, the comp that I'm using, um, this is the same exact comp that I actually have set if we go back to phase one. Uh, the exact same comp that I use for phase one. Now, as far as uh, what I'm currently using for phase two for the second team, uh, this team is going to consist of primarily, mainly um, Judicators. And the reason why that is, is because this boss is a little bit different. Um, the Raging Lion is just like, how many times can you rotate? How much damage can you get? Uh, you know, from how many hits, you know, locking down the unit, um, doing damage during that phase. Uh, this boss doesn't actually... It doesn't exactly have a uh, damage phase, if that makes sense. It's um, if you're able to stack the uh, Judicator buff to 100, you get true damage. And that's where you're going to be seeing a lot of your damage come from is every time you stack 100, there's four ads, including the boss. You're going to be seeing some massive numbers pop up on the screen. Now, with this comp, I tried to like kind of tone it down. Um, I obviously have tested out my uh, Cecilia. She works extremely well here. Uh, if you don't have Sally then Clara works extremely well in her slot uh, really any of those healers can be really good you just want some sort of sustain now we're bringing Javid because he is the current rate up unit um, just to show his value here I will say he is one of the much harder hitters for this specific piece of content. Um, but again, you are going to have problems kind of like with survivability. So you might have to do some slight tweaks, even potentially changing your build up. And I'll talk about that as well. Uh, we're going to go with the speed lead, though, with my uh, Yuhime to get a little bit more rotation. Uh, we're also going to be bringing Zora. She's just across the board broken here. I almost feel like she's the event unit. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to be bringing Jiang Mong as well. Uh, and she's going to be really really, really good um, on the build that I have for her. So I'm going to quickly show you guys my run. Uh, and then, of course, I'll just reiterate some replacements uh, if you don't have this exact comp. Um, now, believe it or not, there's a couple of units that I tested out from the tank class that actually scored a little bit higher for me, which is kind of insane. Um, but I was like, OK, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'll rock with that. Um, so here we go. We're just uh, going straight into this. It looks like and there's and there's some slight delay. I think I kind of realized why I think the other side um, it's like when they AP push over there is trying to catch up so that the timing, I guess, is kind of the same. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, yeah, it's a little weird on timing, um, but as you can see, we got our Dispeller. So really, Sally is just like everything we need all in one. Uh, you can use units like uh, Gabby here, uh, for example. Um, she does work extremely well. That's another unit that I actually was uh, scoring pretty high with uh, for at least day one. But right there, you see uh, 784 uh, K, uh, depending on like when you proc that, if it's all at once, it's like somewhere over like one mil or something like that. Like it's like really dumb, but this is more so about getting those judicator like stacks. Like if you're not getting those, you're not going to be able to, uh, be very effective against this boss. Um, now, as you can see, uh, with the ads here, I think it's important to note that you can, a well, actually even the boss, you can AP manipulate the boss. Uh, you can also AP manipulate the, uh, tablets. Um, you can stun the tablets. Uh, you can also proc any of uh, damage over time abilities. So poison, uh, Pandora's box, um, any of those. Like it, it's actually kind of ridiculous. So there's a many a different compositions that I'm seeing pop up um, that are actually pretty effective. Uh, now, the thing is, is that um, the I would say the big like i guess kind of weird thing to this boss is when you do lockdown so you see that there's the lockdown bar on top of the boss's head it is only equivalent value for one reduction or one level uh to the ultimate that the boss used uh which is called thundershock 
Um, so no matter what you do, this boss is going to hit you. Um, there is no stun phase for that. All you can do is decrease the damage on this by like one level for each round, if I'm not mistaken. So that's just kind of like what you're working against. And that's why you want to try to rotate as fast as you possibly can, if you can. Um, and then, of course, with your builds, that is going to make a huge difference in like your survivability. You can probably already tell my Jiang Mong is on a Hades set right now. And that is honestly like been life-saving with her um, I'm also running my Yuhime on a Haiti set as well um, that's just being just again really really helpful to keeping them alive um, I would even say Zora could be ran on a Haiti set since you are emphasizing more of the buffs um, but again that's just to make sure that you know they aren't dying <laughs> you know they're staying alive uh, throughout the duration of the fight and even when the tablets get their turn uh, they're not taking massive massive amounts of damage without some sort of retaliation and Jiang Mong is like probably one of the best at it. Now I think they're yeah they're, they're, they're going for my yeah to take out my my uh, Javid. It was gonna it was bound to happen. All right, so see we're coming up towards the end. It looks like. Uh, so I haven't been able to get out of S just yet, but again, it is day one, um, and I actually have, like, like I'll show you guys my buffs, too. Like, I don't have, like, a crazy amount of buffs just yet, because uh, the floors have been capped at 30 as well. So there's not, like, really, like, nothing too crazy, and that's uh, at this point, too. Um, it, like, without any buffs, we're starting to get one shot is another thing. So that's another thing that we're we're currently dealing with. If I can get an S3 on Jiang, that actually would be kind of nice. But they said, nah, you good. Uh, this should be good, though, for some excess damage. Pushing us up a little bit. We get that lock phase. It's going to ult. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah, so this should be a GG. Now, when this team dies, what they actually have set in place is like a... Um, I guess like a finish parameter so that other side no matter what is going to be scoring um the score that you're you're going to get right so it's going to be a pretty high score regardless um this is the one that you're primarily worried about so this is the one that you're actually working on is, is really what's happening here um so let's go ahead and I should die in a minute i'm almost certain okay there we go all right, so now you see battle will end once you reach the turn limit. So it'll keep going on the other side, but there's no point. So you just go ahead and leave. And uh, you see we get EX++ on that other side. We get S rank here. And so they uh, average those two scores out together. Uh, and that is what is currently giving us EX. So uh, my higher score is uh, the 28 mil, but we did 27 on this run specifically. Um, again, I was using like Gabby, for example. Um, but with that scoring, because we were able to, so this is kind of like the rule of thumb. Like if you did well and you scored high enough on the Chimera, that score should help you get more of this mileage stone bar done so then when we go to claim this right it was good we get some good rewards there we only have to hit ex plus and ex plus plus that's going to come with uh you know just over time with like passively getting the um you know the buffs and as well as climbing more of the tower so i'm not really too pressed about being at s if i'm being honest i think that that's a pretty good spot um because of where my account is so that means like anyone that has you know if your account's not exactly where my account is if you're scoring like an a uh you know like it's not the worst thing ever because we don't have any buffs it's literally day one now again for the second team because we're not really emphasizing the first team as much uh like i said we got the haiti set going uh what i decided to do to keep my yuhime uh, alive longer and i did this as well for my jiang mong if i'm not mistaken i put them on an the hp build uh with the speed because we're really primarily going for the hit count um not so much for just like pure damage because really you're getting more damage value from getting the stack of 100 on the judicator buff um so that's what I exactly that's what I was aiming for my Jiang Mong I actually did keep on a damage build I can't remember who I changed it might have been someone else I can't remember who I changed it was someone else I also changed uh my Zora oh it was Zora my bad guys it was Zora so I actually have her on a war set on a HP build um and speed at the end that's just to keep her and make her a little bit more tanky um the cool thing is, is that with Sally as well she's just on the HP percent build with speed um and uh what she is going to be able to do is give that attack up buff she gives immunity coverage uh so she does help out a lot with sustaining um and then for my Javid uh what we currently have with him we have crit damage percent 
attack percent and attack percent um really aiming for um just trying to get him to do as much as he can i will say because i know somebody's going to ask like is it worth picking him up for this um the big dilemma that you're going to run into with javid is probably going to be skill ups um this being on a, fr a five turn cooldown is kind of like bad uh especially like when you're trying to get that you know consistent landing of that judgment sill from the s3 um same thing with the s2 this being put on a three turn cooldown would be so much better um and then of course with the s1 that's not really so much of a thing outside of damage um but i really will say the biggest thing that i can tell right off rip is going to be a thing is you got to skill him up if you're going to use him for this specifically he's just going to perform a lot better with skill ups now again other alternatives right uh so as far as your stainer I'm di i did mention them in the beginning of the video let's actually put sally back uh but if you don't have sally you can always use units like uh, Clara if you're lucky. Uh, you can use uh, Cecilia. She does work extremely well. And her and Clara kind of play a similar role. They both can AP push. The only difference is, is that Cecilia can resurrect, um, which can be very, very clutch. She gives a lot of shield value as well. Um, you can also use units like Abigail for extra sustain as well uh, because she does give the entire party absorb. So absorb is going to be pretty huge um, with the attack up. And as well, she can revive. So that's going to be really, really huge for your units being able to sustain outside of like having a Hades set. I think Hades set is going to be probably one of the cream of the crop sets uh, for this specific boss. Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, I would say, for your sustainers. Those are, like, going to be your go-tos. Now, as far as other units you can slot in here, I did mention that there were some tankier units that work extremely well. Believe it or not, Sangji is actually pretty broken for this. Um, Sangji S3 is actually really good uh, because not only are you getting that uh, HP swap, uh, but you're also going to be getting an attack of on all enemies based off of 50% of his uh, defense, and this will scale with the enemy's max HP, which goes up to plus uh 400 on the cap which is kind of ridiculous when you do see it hit um but it is really really nice um if you have my r0 he does work i uh, actually my first and i would say the 28 mil actually i think was scored with sanji on the team now outside of that you're also going to be able to aoe stun with him which again remember you can stun the tablets which is super beneficial because you're not taking any excess damage from them um which again is huge uh and then the s1 he is able to proc disease um and that's just kind of that he does some damage based off of uh true uh or off of uh their hp value true damage uh and it's based off of the uh non-boss enemy with the highest max hp and 100 percent of sanji's defense right so that's really good on the tablets uh, you also have donar so donar is another unit that actually works really well uh he is a tankier unit for this um i will say with donar one of the things uh like i don't really use mine as much but i did throw them in here just to kind of test them out you probably want to put them on like a hades set to be quite honest um and then of course like the crit damage defense percent uh and like speed for rotation um but definitely defense up immunity coverage uh if you do have rezzles and keep in mind this is a free to play accessible unit uh, if you do have rezzles on him i think at r2 is where you're going to really see some like crazy value uh when uh thunder blessing reaches max stacks he's able to gain an additional turn so if you are are getting hit it's just going to put you in an optimal position to be able to make sure he's always constantly rotating his immunity and his defense up and as well as aoe nuking um so donor actually does pretty well and he's able to sustain um and he can sustain himself too if you have him built properly so i definitely would say donar is a really really good slotted unit as well um now outside of that i know some people are going to ask about jenny i've tried jenny um for what it's worth she's not really the greatest for this specific uh uh, boss um i will say like she works much better on the tower than she does for this um which i think is fair i mean that's kind of what we've seen happen um outside of like mateo mateo was just kind of necessary for both um but you have javid who i feel like gets a lot more shine when it comes down to the chimera boss um and jenny is going to be a lot uh i would say a lot more lucrative from what i've been able to climb so far to floor 30 uh for the uh void messenger now um outside of that as far as other units you can use in these units position for like hit counts and also uh, the judicator buff you can also use uh let's actually go to let me see if i can find them do 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 
um, who else was I using? It was Gabby was one of them. So I did mention Gabby. So you can use Gabby. She's really, really good for the hit count. Uh, keep in mind, Lucas AP manipulation here is actually like really top tier. And he has a pretty good uh, hit count to add to the uh, Judicator buff as well. Uh, Laling is also another unit that um, a lot of people are probably going to sleep on just because it's like Laling. But, um, you know, for those that have unnecessary amounts of resos on him, you're going to get the buff from that. And as well as the fact that he's able to AP manipulate, he's able to do true damage, which is 5% of the target's max HP and up to 50% of the Ling's attack. Um, and then, of course, that AP push, it hits all enemies three times as well. So you're going to be getting a good amount going onto those stacks. Uh, and then, of course, he's able to sustain himself and as well as proc defense break and the s1 with the seer uh but really the cream of the crop for him is that s3 it's going to be pretty pretty massive um i know another unit that actually works pretty well here on the support side is actually going to be sienna um because you can ap pushback uh the other thing that makes her really good is not only the fact that she's able to ap pushback but she also can inflict stun and then she gains that additional turn and she's able to grant an attack up and speed up for three turns so she ends up being really really freaking good uh, as a support unit uh, now units like ashley i feel like ashley just doesn't hit enough for me personally um i mean she could work here but because you are emphasizing more stacks it's not so much about just damage um you really want to have units that are able to hit as much as they possibly can um and then in conjunction being able to sustain themselves so i mean you could technically use her but i personally would say over the other options she's not the most optimal um but yeah those are going to be the the ones and the units that i recommend um there's a couple of others that i would say could potentially work probably like rinsey is one that i still need to test out uh pandora actually did perform pretty okay for me um not on the like higher spectrum of my highest score but she still did perform pretty okay um and that really has a lot to do with her pandora's box i think the pandora's box is actually pretty good for her um so you know that being able to passively take away hp is good for just killing the tablets but it doesn't really help so much with giving you the stack so that's just kind of that uh long me on as well um i for can't forget to mention him he actually is a judicator unit um but he also is really good at locking down those tablets with his s3 uh speed down is huge as well in his kit and he also has a ap pushback uh which is also pretty massive and that affects um or afflicts everyone so that again could be super lucrative um the only and i would say the last unit is going to be lin shao because lin shao is able to offer you an aoe defense break um but outside of that everything else she does is single target so that's not really going to be so helpful on like overall all the ads and trying to just burst them down to get that damage just coming in consistently for a unit's turn um but she is going to be good for opening up for you know just more dps potential uh if you're lacking like a yuhime for example or like a r2 zora so that's always an option so yeah guys that's pretty much where we currently are on day one I wouldn't stress it too too much uh, just because of the fact that it's day one so we're not we're not really working with a lot of buffs and I want to show you guys that real quick as well as far as where my buffs are currently um, we are looking at about 15% so what I did uh, obviously clearing 430 I allocated all my buffs uh, to the respective ones so we're just gonna go ahead and do this right um, and I leveled up one of these each I think so far I think this one might have gotten twice just because of what I got um, but then I did a one-to-one -one, so we're sitting at uh, 10 10 9 and 9 on the blue nodes um, and you don't really have to worry about like anything else outside of that just kind of waiting for things passively the next like few hours um we should be getting the next portion a lot uh but yeah we have to still wait two days for the next purple node so that's just kind of that uh but so far uh i got almost just from doing uh the rest of uh and really finishing up withering messenger for 150 uh doing 30 and the chimera boss i'm saying got almost 10k of the crow marks uh and to answer that question some people were concerned and wondering if this was going to reset it is not um so i purposely left this before the patch um, because this was one that I did uh, as far as obtaining a keepsake uh, prior to the patch um, this is still here right so I'm working on my second copy of Izanami uh, or not no is it Izanami oh yeah Izanami yeah or no Izanagi Jesus Christ I'm mixing up the name Izanagi uh, so I'm working on my second copy of Izanagi so yeah that's pretty much that guys it's nothing like too crazy or out of the way I hope that this was able to give you at least a 
much more sound foundation for day one um and yeah so that's gonna be that guys stay blessed stay charged up and i'll catch you guys in the next one